Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a full set of extra extra long curved nails. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is going in with a cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles and this is going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. And then as always you can use any type of cuticle pusher as long as it can be disposed of or disinfected. So plastic and metal can be disinfected but if you use a wood one you have to throw it away oh dang i just realized that the part where i prepped the nails was not in the video i think someone called me actually and it stopped recording because you guys know that i still record on my phone um but anyways as always we prep the nails um by remove or we remove the shine by using a 180 sending band and i use my scarlet melody susie nail drill which of course i'll leave that information down below as well as the promo code and i used it at five thousand rpms to remove the shine after that i dust the nails off and then i'm applying the nail tips and these are the clear and pressed curved nail tips i'll be sure to leave that link down below for you guys as well and you can find them on amazon so i'll leave the link to my amazon storefront on there for you guys um and then of course i'm using the kds glue as i already mentioned um but once we apply the nail tips of course we're going to go in and trim them down which actually we're going to leave them this length but we're going to trim the sides to make them into a coffin shape and just like any other time whenever you're applying nail tips you want to make sure that the nail tips fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them to be too big or too small because then you can get lifting or breakage but most likely breakage so you don't want to have to like force the nail to stay down you also don't want the nail to be hanging off their natural nail you want it to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall which means that it needs to be the same size as your natural nail not bigger or smaller and as you can see if one tip is too big and another one's too small go with the one that's a little bit longer and just follow it down on the sides because it's better that you make it fit perfectly than to have to force it down because if you force it down that nail is eventually going to want to come back up and that's when the nails lift so after we finish applying the nail tips um like i said i'm going to go in and trim the sides and i'm going to be using a straight edge nail clipper um again that is a straight edge nail clipper you don't want to use the regular curved nail clipper because you are going to mess up the shape um, so you want it to be straight um, and as you can see we're just cutting the side of the nail that way whenever we start shaping it's going to take away some of that work for me um, and it's just going to speed up the process just a little bit like a tiny bit y'all but um i honestly just do this because it like gets some of that filing work off my wrist you guys know that i've had problems with my wrist before and really like whenever i'm shaping extra long nails and extend on nails that's really when it hurts because i'm having to do so much work um so you just want to you know do whatever you can to try to keep from having to work so hard or putting so much work on your body i guess i could say um but as you can see now we're going in at a 90 degree angle on the sides um going from the free edge towards the or sorry going from the sidewalks to not sidewalks y'all going from the sidewalls towards the free edge filing both sides making sure that you hold your file super super straight especially when it comes to these curved nails i know it's kind of hard to shape these curved nails um just because if you hold your file at a different angle other than 90 degrees you will mess up your nail tips because trust me whenever i first started doing because she uh this client is the only one that gets the curved nails so whenever i first started doing her curved nails like i would file and i would kind of turn my file inwards and i was cutting into the nail tip so then she would have them break off super like she'll have a few break off like within the next few days so you want to make sure that you're filing straight from the sidewalk why do i keep saying sidewalks from the side walls towards the free edge free edge do not turn your file at all as you can see even when i'm doing it like on the sides or filing on the sides i'm still kind of holding my file at a vertical angle because i want to make sure that i do not file into that nail tip hopefully you guys know what i'm saying or kind of can picture it um but i would kind of cut into like the nail where like right at the natural nails free edge that's where it would kind of have like a little um 
cut i guess or like an indention and then that would cause the nail to break off super easily so again make sure that you watch the way that you're holding your file you want it to be at exactly a 90 degree angle and then of course whenever you're filing you're putting most of that pressure on the free edge because that's what we want to make more narrow of course since the nail tips that we applied are the same size as your nail bed you know you don't want to make that any narrower if that's a word so we just want to make sure we make the tip more narrow the free edge the very tip of the nail um, so we're just going to do that on all of the nails and then um, we're going to do the same thing on the other hand of course and then we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, so after I finish shaping the nails, I dust them off and then I'm going in with the JC Beauty Concepts Primer. I'm applying that on the natural nail only. And then after this, we're going to go in with the JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic. And then I'm also going to be using a mixture of what is this like gold glitters. And y'all, when I tell you, like it's literally like just all of my gold glitters that I had and my I had a glitter drawer. And I was cleaning it out and I had a whole bunch of different gold glitters. So I literally just dumped all of them in one container. So that is what this is. Um, so of course, as always, the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with a coat of the clear first. So next time, whenever she comes in and she wants something different, we can just file away all of the glitter and then we will still have the clear underneath. So we don't have to do a whole new set. And then the glitter does not have any acrylic in it. So what I'm doing is just dipping my brush 
into my liquid into my monomer and into my polymer getting a small bead of acrylic and then dipping that bead into the glitter and that's how i'm picking it up um and then of course placing it on the nail making sure that i get a good coverage and on this hand we're going to do like a really full coverage of the glitter and then on the other hand you're going to be able to see more of the clear underneath and once you get a full coverage on this hand, of course, we're going to go in with the clear. Um, and then also I'm applying a little bit of pieces of gold foil. So we just want it to be super, super gold. And then as you can see, I had those little circle, like gold circles in the glitter mix as well. But I noticed that as soon as I applied the clear acrylic over it, it kind of took away the gold color from it. And since I applied that first bead, as you can, you can see it right there how it turned um silver so since i had already applied the bead the first bead right here and it was kind of thick i didn't want to have to dig it out so i just left it there and i'm just going to cover it up with the polish but i am going to go ahead and take that one off because i didn't want any silver you know in this set it's supposed to be all gold um but of course now that we're encapsulating we want to focus on building our apex and that is super super important because these nails are extra long so you know we need that support we need that thickness that's gonna you know protect our nail from breaking off like if you were to hit it on something and it's if the nail was super flat it would just break off super easily but your apex is where your nail gets the strength from and if you not if you do not have that apex your nails will break off super easily yum so again this is the jc beauty concepts acrylic as you guys know i switched over to using them not too long ago and i absolutely love them i know a lot of you guys have started using them as well and i know that you guys like them as well i know just last night i seen a comment she said she really like it so if you like their products be sure to let me know down below in the description or not in the description y'all in the comments so other people that are thinking about you know using it can get some feedback from you guys but i personally can tell you that i love it um like i said i switched from using me a secret to this and this is a lot easier to work with um i feel like i'm able to work a lot faster because it's not as runny so i don't have to be applying so much acrylic like i had to when i was using me a secret it's also very affordable and they have a large range of colors um and as you guys know i also use their cover blush a lot so that one is super popular as well but their clear alone like i said is super good um but yeah so we're gonna be doing the same thing on all of them so again we're doing the clear underneath just as the foundation so next time when she comes in we can just file away all the glitter and she'll still have the clear underneath and then we're going to apply the glitter and like i mentioned the glitter is just loose glitter so i'm having to get a bead of acrylic dipping that bead into the glitter and then placing it on the nail and once we get a good coverage we are encapsulating with the clear so we're going to do that on the rest of the nails and then i will be back
Alrighty, y'all. So I'm almost done with this hand, but I just want to point out, you see how after I'm done, I look at the nail from the side and I do that for every single nail. And what I'm looking for is just making sure that I have that nice, nice apex as well as a good thickness at my tip. Because I know a lot of the time I have people ask me like, how do you know when you've applied enough acrylic? And really it's just when you've build your apex and the thickness and once you have those two things you're completely done with that nail you don't want it to be super big and lumpy and i know sometimes people ask like well what if my nail is like super um lumpy like what can i do can i just fill it in with more acrylic and the answer is um i mean it's really both ways i guess if it's if you've already built an apex and it's thick enough for an apex and you're tip is thick enough then you can just file it down at the end to where you fall away the bumps now if your nail is lumpy and bumpy but it, you still don't have that apex then you can go in and add more acrylic but it's going to be different for everyone that's why i say you have to look at your nail from different angles as you're working because if you just look at it from the top like you see right here you're not going to be able to see that so you have to turn it over to the side and that's what you always see me doing anytime you see me lift the nail up and look at it from the sides that's what i'm looking for is my apex Alrighty, so moving on to the other hand so same thing y'all we're going in with the clear over the entire nail as a base and then we're gonna go in with this uh, small bead and then dipping that into the glitter and placing it on the nail and remember for this hand we're not gonna make it super thick we're just gonna do a little bit of glitter spreading that over the entire nail and then we're gonna do the foil and then we're gonna do the clear to encapsulate the nail and since we're not doing a lot of the glitter you know we're just gonna have to apply a little bit more of the clear to encapsulate the reason why is just because you know on the other hand we're using a lot more of the glitter so that glitter since we're applying it with the acrylic um it kind of gives a, a little bit of thickness as well but for this one since we're only doing a thin coat of the glitter you know we're just gonna have to go in and add a little bit more of the clear to make sure that we have that good apex and thickness at the tip
Alrighty, y'all. So I did notice that there is some acrylic stuck in my brush just because, you know, it's so much glitter that that glitter is so hard to get out of the brush. So I am going to switch over to the other brush, which is also an alpha brush. This one is in the number 10 and it's a brand new brush. So what I did was just take it out of the tube. I dipped it into my monomer, wiped it off a few times, and then it was ready to use. Um, the pink one that I was using is also by alpha brush, but that one is actually part of a, a collab that i'm going to be doing with them here soon so i'll be sure to give you guys more details on that once it gets closer to the time but it should be here pretty soon um but like i said i'll keep you guys updated on that i know a lot of people have been liking the pink you guys know that it's my favorite color so of course i had to make sure that my brush was pink but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch and of course all of the products will be listed down below as always Alrighty y'all, so here is what the nails look like after we finish. So as you can see, we have a nice curve and they're really nice and smooth. So now we're going to go in and shape up the nails. So if, again, we're going in with that same 80-80 hand file. We're going to file both sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle. And when you're doing this step, it's not going to take much at all because of course it's already that coffin shape, but we just want to go in and redefine that shape because after you apply the acrylic especially with curved nails you will have a lot of um little rough edges on the side so you want to make sure that you go in and file those off and since these nails are curved it's not going to be so easy to get your file in on the sides so you will see me go in with my e-file after we finish reshaping the nails to get rid of those rough edges i know i've had a lot of people asking me about that but like i said what i do is go in with my e-file and i'll be showing you here in a bit but again this is an 80 80 hand file and we're filing the sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle.
Alrighty, so this is something different that we usually don't have to do and the reason why we have to do it on this set is because the nails are curved and like I said, you get a lot of that rough uh, edges on these nails. So what I'm doing is just going in with my 180 setting band and just following the sides of the nails, kind of like that curve. So just going along that curve and just following off any acrylic that might have got underneath or on the sides of the nails. Um, so I'm just doing it on all of them just to be sure and then also like along the fridge um so that's what you can do and even if you're not doing curved nails but i know i've had just i think yesterday i got an email asking like how could they get rid of the acrylic underneath the nail and this is how you do it um usually you know i'm good about wiping the side of the nails as i'm working and kind of pushing the acrylic back onto the nail so it doesn't go underneath uh but with these curved nails that part is a little bit harder for me you guys know that i don't usually do a lot of curved nails except for on her so yeah but anyways now we're gonna go in with the uh find your bed and again this is the scarlet melody susie nail drill and this is a fine ceramic drill bed i'll be sure to leave the link down below to my amazon storefront where this will be at but then also i will have these on my website as well which i will be launching again pretty soon i just need to do my inventory and then we'll be ready to go um but as always we follow around the cuticle area first going from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin so we're gonna do that on all of the nails and then of course following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and well blended and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other hand and during this step I am using my e-file at 10,000 rpms as always though you can use it at a higher or lower speed whatever makes you feel more comfortable and also you know, I get a lot of people saying like they got a drill, but they're scared to use it because they're scared to cut someone. But the only way to get better and more comfortable is by using it. So if you need to slow it down like a lot, that is completely fine. And then just speed it up a little bit more as you get more comfortable.
Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in with the buffer and this is just to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good. Alrighty, so after we finish buffing the nails, I'm just going to dust them off and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. And then for the nail art, we're going to be going in with the color Perfect White by Madame Glam, which is a gel polish, of course. And we're just going to do a whole bunch of random lines. And so the first coat is just going to be kind of like an outline. And then I am going to go in with a second coat and just make everything thicker and then just fill in um, a few spots as well. And again, this is Perfect White by Madam Glam. I do have a promo code for them. So I'll be sure to leave that down below. And y'all, it's going to be hard to explain because these are just random lines. Like they're super, super random. So um, you really can just kind of freestyle. But she just wanted the gold underneath with white lines and then bling.
Alrighty, so we finished that first coat on the other hand, and now we're going to go back to the first hand. And as I mentioned, we're going to make everything just thicker and bolder, and then we're also going to fill in some spots. As you can see, she was telling me like where to fill in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other hand. And like I said, all of this is super random, so just really do whatever you want when it comes to doing these signs like this. You can just kind of get a little bit crazy and creative.
Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and cure this hand for 60 seconds as well. And then now we're gonna go in with the bling. So we're just gonna apply a whole bunch of bling on all of the nails. So of course I'm using the Soleil Nail Adhesive. I'm using my large bling, my small AB, SS6 and SS12. And all of these will be back on my website really soon. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on that. I'm aiming for next week, which would be like Thanksgiving week. Um, so I'll be sure to give you guys an update at the end of this week, if not at the beginning of next week. But you guys know that it's always whenever I relaunch the website, it's always super random. Um, I just I'm always so busy that, you know, I kind of do it when I can i don't like to set dates just because i don't want to like basically tell you guys the date and then i can't make it on that day and then you know you guys will be upset so it's always super random but anyways like i said i'm just doing bling on all of the nails i'm also using some gold caviar um i'm using my wax pencil and as i mentioned i am using the slay nail adhesive which works really really good for me and i definitely recommend it so i'll be sure to leave her information down below
Alrighty, so for the thumb, I'm going to be using some hard gel. And I couldn't find the one that I usually work. This is the only one that I found in my drawer. So um, I went ahead and used that one. But I'm using that hard gel for my 3D pieces. Um, since it's, you know, like they're the pointed bag, you don't want to just use regular, like the Sule Nail Adhesive Glue. Because you need something that they can kind of sink into. So this hard gel is more like a actual gel. So it's thicker. And you can just kind of place them on top of the gel and then the gel kind of cures around it it kind of hugs the bling if that makes sense um, but that one does have to be cured so I went ahead and put that one under the light for 60 seconds we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other hand and as you can see we're just applying the bling randomly all over the nails um, so it doesn't have to be in a particular way just kind of add it however you want to
Alrighty, so after we finish applying all of the bling, I'm spraying the nails with the Hurry Up Spray, which is a spray that helps that glue dry a lot faster. And then I'm going in with the Madam Glam Gel Top Coat, applying that on all of the nails. And then we're going to cure each hand for 60 seconds. And then also, I wanted to go ahead and mention, I know on my Instagram when I posted this picture, a lot of people were asking me how much would something like this cost. And I know like... I also have a lot of people asking me like about pricing and how much people uh, how much they should charge but it's kind of hard for me just because like you guys know that me doing nails is not my only source of income so I've always um, told myself that I wouldn't charge a price that I wouldn't pay basically so if I wouldn't pay for it I'm not gonna charge it now if this is your only source of income is if doing nails is your only income then you can charge whatever you want I know something like this would be over hundred dollars but i only charged her 75 dollars you guys know that i charge by length so um short is 30 dollars medium is 45 long is 50 um extra long is 50, 65 i think and then extra extra long is 75 yeah um so that's really what i go by um i don't go by like how many rhinestones i applied or whatever the case may be or how much glitter i just do it by length but like i said if this was not my only source of income then of course by all means i would be charging a lot more um but these are my clients that i've had especially her i've been doing her nails since we were both in high school i think we were both like sophomores in high school so we had to be what like 16 years old and i've been doing her nails ever since so um yeah so you know i guess i'm not really the best person to ask about pricing because yeah <laughs> but anyways uh, as you can see i'm finishing the bling on this thumb after this we're gonna spray the nails with the activated spray as well and i think i already mentioned but i will leave those with well, the link is just one link for my amazon storefront and you can find all of the products that i've used or a lot of the products that i've used so as far as like the hurry up spray um and a few other things will be on there so be sure to go check that out and i always just add things as i purchase them like once i use and i feel like they work for me you know i'm more than glad to recommend them to you guys and they'll be on my amazon storefront so i sprayed them with the activator going in with the top coat and then that's going to be it for this set Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really, really pretty. I love the gold combination with the bling and the white. They look so good. Um, so as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at GetNail32, and I will see you guys next time.